Yeah, the TikTok thing is fascinating. I told you Adam Curry's uh, take on it, that he thinks that the reason why they're trying to ban it is that it's competition and that they're they're killing the game and that that's why these companies are like talking about TikTok being so invasive. But I also read an article by a software engineer that back engineered the TikTok's uh, algorithm. Yeah. yeah, and they said, no, this is the most invasive software we've ever looked at in terms of like what it does to your computer, how it checks everything you're doing, monitors your keystrokes, listens to your recordings, like every, it, it has access to your microphone. Yeah, I think they're both right, honestly. I think they both make a very good case. The TikTok one's been interesting to me because, like, I see all the arguments that people make, the ones who are like, hey, we got to ban this thing. Uh, because I think it's true. That you, the Chinese government's probably data farming everybody and they have everybody's information. Yeah. But I also just find it kind of weird that there's, like, a specific focus on them because they spy on everything we do on every platform. I mean, we had the Patriot Act, which goes all the way back to the War on Terror days where yeah. they were Ill they're illegally collecting all of our metadata. I mean, you had Edward Snowden on the show. He yes. could explain this stuff way better than I could explain this stuff. So, yeah, you have YouTube, Google, I guess, is, is uh, the parent company. To you. So you have Google, you have Twitter, you have all these. They all have our data. They yeah. all, And I'm sure you've had this experience. It's gotten creepy. Like, yeah. there was one time I was talking to Crystal, and I mentioned something. I never mentioned it before. Never Google searched it. I think I mentioned the cereal Wheaties or something like that. I go to Amazon. I got a fucking recommendation for Wheaties, bro. I was like... What are the odds? What are the odds that that's just random? Zero? Yeah, about zero. <laughs> Point oh 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 one. Yeah, it was so... I'm like, Jesus Christ, that's so invasive. Yeah. It is weird because we've talked about that before. So many times we mentioned something and then you get an ad for it. And it's like, what is, is that coincidence? Because people want to say it's coincidence, but it can't be. So what are they doing? Are they just listening to everything you say? I mean, Alexa is probably the worst, right? Alexa's people who have Alexa. Sneaky little bitch. Fucking robot in your house who's spying yeah. on your ass. All Here's the time. List yeah. of the top 10 sites based off of daily active or monthly active mm -hmm. users, I guess. Rank among social media platforms. So Facebook is number one. YouTube is number two. And then there's WhatsApp, which is not really a social media app. It's yeah. a messaging app. Right. Then you have Instagram. WeChat, and then TikTok. What is that, man? What's MAUs? What does that mean? A monthly active users, I believe. Oh, come on. There's only a million on TikTok? That's horseshit. No, it, I think it's a billion. But... Yeah, it's a thousand million, so a billion. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <Duh. Yeah. laughs> I'm so stupid. But um, Facebook, Facebook owns... Messenger. Interesting. 988 million. It's just below that. Doesn't Facebook own all five of these companies? Four of these? Uh, Facebook does not own YouTube. Um, not, not that one, but WhatsApp, Instagram. Yes. Uh, do they own WeChat? Who know. owns WeChat? What is WeChat? I don't even know what that Same is. Same kind of thing, I believe. What's WeChat? That's WhatsApp. There's a new well, there's a new messaging app called IQ that the UFC is using. I, I saw ads for that. I, I'd never heard of that before either. Do you I'm, know what? I'm too old for this shit. Uh, then what am I? I can't I can't keep up. I can't keep up with all this stuff. Oh, uh, so it's uh. It seems China. It's China, a China, Chinese thing. WeChat China, yes. So it's the it's the WhatsApp of China, right? Mm, That's the okay. gist of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. 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 A lot of people in other countries use WhatsApp. Like you go to w other countries, you talk to people. They go, "What's your WhatsApp?" Right. I'm like, yeah. Oh. Now they are encrypted, right? Isn't WhatsApp encrypted? Yes, it's encrypted. Okay. Yeah. And that didn't change recently. I feel like maybe that changed. I do not no? know. No. Okay. I rarely use WhatsApp, but I, I use used to. I don't really use it. Yeah, yeah. I used to use it not much anymore. Though. I, that's how I talked to Zuckerberg. We WhatsApp each other because he probably <laughs> wants. He he's like, it. "Hey, man, look, FBI's listening. CIA's yeah. listening. Let's go oh, over here." I'm sure, but it's um, they should be able to listen to that too, though. If they if they can monitor your keystrokes, you tell me they can't monitor your keystrokes on a, an encrypted application. I, I mean, my understanding is that encryption was the way to protect yourself from that but mm. i don't know much about this stuff so you can't take my word for same it as signal it says every whatsapp message is protected by the same signal encryption protocol that ensure that secures messages before they leave your device when you message a whatsapp business account your message is delivered securely to the destination chosen by the business okay. yeah end-to-end -end encryption end -to -end yeah encryption okay so it's basically very similar to signal which i use yeah well that's one of the things uh twitter dms that's one of the things you should talk to Elon about that because yeah. it's totally they can see yeah, all of that shit. Yeah. All of it. All of it. Yeah. Yeah, which is wild. They they wild. monitored people's de Well, not only that, there was a, a link that I tried to send someone on uh Twitter DM back during the censorship heavy days of COVID. I could not send the link. They did that with the Hunter Biden article. Yeah. You oh. couldn't even DM it. Wow. You couldn't even DM it. Crazy. Crazy. It's now, it's crazy now that we know that it's true. Absolutely. It, Absolutely. I mean, they had, like, intelligence officials like, this is Russian disinformation. And they knew it was true. 
Yeah, for sure. It's crazy. It's it, the whole thing is so wild. That, that what a concerted effort to try to suppress a legitimate story by the New York Post, which is one of the oldest newspapers in the country. They overreached. I mean, that's what led to the scandal. Is was mm-hmm. such if they just did what Zuckerberg did. Mm-hmm. Just algorithmically suppress it. Yeah, nobody would even have yeah. known about it. Nobody would have said anything. People would have complained, but it would have been you know in and out of the public consciousness. But because they overreach so much, yeah, people are like, Jesus fucking Christ, this is crazy. This is insane. It, it, it's such an overreach, and it also really undermines people's confidence in intelligence agencies. Unfortunately, oh, dude, there. I mean, be skeptical of everything you hear. Like, look, okay. When it comes to the FBI, yes, I could point to some things that they've done where it was like, good on you. They went after the mafia. They went after the Ku Klux Klan. Like, they've done some good work, right? But at the same time, they also went after Martin Luther King Jr. They sent him a, mess- a letter that was like, hey, man, we know what you're doing. We know you're cheating on your wife. You probably should just kill yourself. Ooh, is that what they said to him? Absolutely. Yeah. They said you should, you should commit suicide. Whoa. Yeah. They, the I FBI mean, sent a, lesser, a letter saying yep. you should kill yourself? That's Do we right. have access to that? Yeah, letter? I think we can get it now. Yeah. You never seen it? I don't know if I have. Maybe I forgot so about it. So what they do, the FBI, like they're not they're not ideological in a traditional uh, partisan sense. What they are is they're all about protecting the establishment and the status quo. So if they feel like a threat is coming from the right, they'll go after the right. If they feel like a threat is coming from the left, they'll go after the left. There it is. So King, there is only one thing left for you to do. You know what it is. You have just 34 days in which to do. This exact number has been selected for a specific reason. It has a definite, practical, significant. You are done. There is but one way out for you. You better take it before your filthy, abnormal, fraudulent self is bare to the nation. Whoa. Now they tried to do this to Malcolm X as well. But he lived a squeaky clean life. He was not uh, cheating on his wife. Look how this is written. No, no person can overcome facts, not even a fraud like yourself. Lend your sexually psychotic ear to the enclosure. You will find yourself in all your dirt, filth, and evil, evil and moronic talk exposed on the record for all time. I repeat, no person can argue successfully against the facts. You are finished. You will find the record for all time, your filthy, dirty, evil companions. Wow. Male and female, giving expression with you to your hideous abnormalities. This is crazy. 